Hello, beautiful lady. Yes, I am talking to you. It is Thursday, and you know what goes down here on Thursday. Wife Life with Dr. Gail goes down here on Thursday. So do me a huge, huge favor. Make sure you're hitting the subscribe button and the little bell right next to it so you will know when I go live. We're bringing sexy back. We're bringing sexy back. Let's get it started. Pardon, won't you give it up? And so tonight, I want to talk to you about how to have your sex drive in overdrive, how to really increase your desire and your libido to have sex. Now, let me just tell you, this teaching is not for someone who is dealing with any hormone issues, any trauma to their penis, any cancer issues, anybody that is on, you know, antidepressant kind of things, because this is just really me talking to people who have just lost their desire to have sex. And there's not some underlying issues. Now, I have done other videos about what suppresses your libido, how to boost that naturally, how to get your hormones in check or whatever. So this video is just for someone, a man or a woman that have just checked out and said, you know what? I just have no desire. OK, so I just want to start this video off by saying if you have any hormone issues, anything that's going on with your health, this video is not for you. And I'm just being 100 percent honest. OK, the very first thing that you need to remember to start the desire to have sex is that having sex is just not the only motivation thing that you should do. You need to look at the benefits of why you should be having meaningful sex and engaging on a regular basis, right? It relieves stress. It boosts your immune system. It gets rid of headaches, right? And it also relaxes the body. So if you come home and you have had a stressful day, what is wrong with engaging in meaningful sex with your spouse to relieve your stress? Let me tell you, it's better than any massage or whatever because it activates the happy hormone that makes you feel happy and it relieves the stress. So remember that your libido just doesn't have to do with sex. It is beneficial for you to engage in it, okay? Number two, you need to change your mind about how you view sex, right? Sex should not be a chore. It should be a pleasure, okay? And like I said in number one, if you're in a space where you and your spouse are just not connecting, right? Look at the benefits, the health benefits, and we all want to be healthy. So just look at it like that. Say, you know what? I am going to engage in meaningful sex because it's good for my body, okay? And when you change your view about how you or viewing sex or whatever, you will begin to enjoy it, right? Because remember, you love you. I'm sure you do. Like I love myself and there's benefits to having amazing sex. So just shift your thinking when it comes to why you should be engaging in meaningful sex, okay? Number three, learn to explore your own pleasure and what pleases you. And when you are sexually active, you learn what pleases you. You learn what turns you on. You learn what stimulates your body. You learn what makes you orgasm. You learn all of those things about yourself, right? And remember, you got to play to pay, right? So you got to get in the game. And so again, this is your marriage. And when you switch your thinking and you're like, you know what? I got to take care of me. This is going to help me, right? So Really learn what pleases you and go get yours. Get it from your spouse. It's important that you do it, okay? And number four, practice the buildup throughout the day. It's nothing wrong with you sending a text message saying what's going to happen tonight. Practice the buildup because when you start foreplay way before you get home, it is much easier to have sparks in the bedroom than you just trying to go in there cold and make it happen. So it's nothing to send a text message and say, eight o'clock is on, get ready, have your shower ready. Cause let me just tell you, it's going to happen. Whatever that looks like for you, but practice the buildup all day. That is building intimacy. That's practicing foreplay. And that gets the other person 
with their minds going, okay, it's going to happen. And do not be let down if you decide that you're not going to follow through. Do not let your spouse down if you decide not to follow through. Follow through. If you build anticipation throughout the day, make sure that you follow through, okay? And number five, set the condition to release sexual tension. Set the conditions. How do you want this experience to go? Do you want it to be more like a spa experience? Do you want it to be more a fetish experience? Do you want it to be more of a fantasy experience? Set the stage and set the conditions on how you want it to go. Because again, you're trying to boost your desire, not your spouse, not somebody else, but your desire, right? And if you don't know what you want, how you want it, then you will never, ever get to what you need out of your sexual relationship when it comes to your spouse. You have to be the driving force. You have to be the GPS to your pleasure, okay? I really want you to really switch your thinking, get in the moment, get creative, and change your mind. And that way you will set your libido, your desire in overdrive. I'm telling you, it's all in the mind. It is all in the mind change your mind, you change your life. Okay. I love you guys to pieces. I am here every single Thursday at 8.30 PM Eastern Standard Time. I will see you next week.